Did you kill it? Um... I... I don't know. I think so. Sometimes they come back. I better Have kill again, then. you killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. Man, where's this girl been I seeing, like, gunplays go on? You know? Oh. Sounds well, like she's seen this happen a million that. times already. But I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Oh, man, this is so creepy. I feel like I need a police officer with me while I'm talking to this girl. Because <laughs> of how creepy that question was. I asked earlier how old she was. Uh, for, for help. Um, we need just, to find help before, for help it, gets before dark. it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Yep. I definitely choose the safety of daylight over nighttime. Let's go. Stay close to me. I know how the zombies work. Their uh, main way of hunting is based on sound. So going at night won't really help because you'll still make as much sound as you normally do during the daylight. And it basically just reduces the visibility that you have of trying to find them, trying to see them, be able to spot them. Yeah, I know how to survive during a zombie apocalypse. I read a little book on it, a little guide. I've seen the movies. I know everything you're not supposed to do. Like, uh, talk to random strangers. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. Eh, these guys might be okay. Talking about their mo mama and the food she makes. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? Honey, they're not coming home. They won't. We should go. Then they'll find me, right? I won't leave you alone, okay? Uh, they're, they're not coming home. Your dad for sure is already gone, her, and your mom sounded like she was leaving her... Last one hey, testament on Holy the uh, answering machine. Don't eat us. We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. Oh. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. Oh, that sounds oh. nice. Yeah, that was some solid guy. truth. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. I'm a truthful person. What can I say? What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Lee, quick. Let's go. Alright, I, I don't know much help I can be without, uh... Two good legs. I think one of my legs is kind of busted up pretty badly. And it's got kind of like gash in it. I like the red tint that's going on around my screen to let me know that some bad stuff's going on. Look at that, I'm limping and I was able to push that car out of the way. For just some guy, it seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. Okay, the sound just got weird. What was that? The sound kind of got a little strange. For whatever reason. Hello. Wow. 
Imagine uh, trying to walk through those cornfields at night, knowing what's going on <laughs> hey, Sean, during the zombie I'm apocalypse. Home. My mom was going to be in a snit. I'd be scared no sweat, to death. Man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you, then. You've brought a couple guests. Howdy. How you doing? Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Yeah, she's not oh, my daughter. Not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? No. I don't know her, either. Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it's not, not doing, doing too well. So good. <laughs> not gonna help you <laughs> I out. said exactly what I was going to say. And check on your sister. Nice. I always like Take that. Take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Maybe I shouldn't like that. Maybe that means I have a... Uh, I think like everyone else, I'm not an individual stand out from the crowd. Yeah, hmm. this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell too. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Hey, Herschel. How you doing? How'd this happen? Uh, car accident? Car accident. That's so. Where were you headed before the car accident? Uh. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? Mm. I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. <laughs> we got another That's a nice way to twist the, the truth. <laughs> you and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. Although I, I guess I shouldn't your name, be going, darling. going up to everyone I meet saying I'm a... Clementine. Convicted Can't felon. Imagine what you've been convicted through, uh, murderer. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Dude, watch your tongue in front of your... Your son's right. In front of a uh, little girl place. like that. Stuff like that doesn't happen around I mean, she's you, Sean. Only, Dad, uh... I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Darn it. I forgot how old she was. Man, we even asked her and I forgot. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. All right, perfect. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. Yeah. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. <laughs> There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. All right, sure thing. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right then. Yeah, I got, I got them then making. Yeah, man, that's that's where my homies are at. Wow, I did not mean to say that. I'm sorry. It I apologize like... to everyone. <laughs> uh, manure. Manure. Manure, like when a horse plops. Just like that. You don't want to be teaching her bad words. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Very far. Very far. 
Oh, okay. Planning in Georgia. Where is Savannah? Is Savannah in Georgia? Or is that South Carolina? Savannah, Georgia, Savannah, South Carolina. I love you, baby. Yeah, they both sound kind of right. <laughs> Probably pretty far, though. Either way. I think it's in South Carolina. Maybe in Georgia. I know it's on the uh, ocean somewhere. I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> this is starting to get me. Hey, get I don't up. know my geography. Oh, who are you? I'm itchy. I don't know well, you. You slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. Oh, man. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. All right. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck Dynasty? Where do parents name their kids Duck? We're from Fort Lauderdale. We were on our way back before things <laughs> up and went bananas. <laughs> I like that. Where? The word is, you were on your way to Macon. Uh, where are your parents name? Well, Macon's on the way, Duck. and... Personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Um, sure. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so I the like faster Clementine we get this oranges. fence up, those are the better. Good. Yeah, and I'm well, I need about a good foreman. Food. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Oh, it's been in Georgia. Time. I knew it. I just looked it up. <laughs> I can keep an eye Sorry, on your little girl here on the porch. <laughs> we can visit. Two things I'm not very good at. History and geography. Although I can tell you where Antarctica is. Not many people can do that. Unfortunately, it's a sad world we live in. You, ha you having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Good for you. Hey there, girls. <laughs> what do you do? How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people. Over some, just, just. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. Wow. I don't want to go home World's tomorrow. Going to hell. But even then, I can't take away the things we, the things Doc went through. Mm -mm -mm. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Uh, not really. <laughs> right Oops, mind. excuse me. Sorry. Families, just coughed in your barbecues, ears. And beers with good friends. All of those things. Well, not those for Lee. Sorry. For, right? like guns, murder, he's a victim of murder. He's probably going to spend the rest of his life in jail. Actually, doesn't Georgia have a uh, lethal injection or um, execution thing going on when they convict him for death or something? Well, maybe Lee had a good uh, lawyer got him to... Uh, or the sentence of life in prison. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. I remember first grade. It's Actually, my only memory from first grade was when I stabbed uh, one of my friends with a pencil. I don't remember why. What the uh, events were that led me to uh, be so mad at him that I had to stab him with a pencil. But I did. It didn't even puncture his skin. It was really pathetic. So, I think uh, I poked him with it, actually. I didn't really stab him. Corpses aren't walking around. I was told I stabbed him. I'm a veterinarian or at least that's, in Fort Lauderdale. I think that's what my like Herschel here, first grade teacher more said I did. And cats I stabbed him. And, uh, not horses. Didn't even puncture what is skin. it that you do, Lee? It was probably a dull to pencil, too. The University of Georgia. Probably stabbed him with the uh, eraser hand, too. We can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. 
back to normal. Well, my uh, first grade teacher was like this. not very nice. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. Well, that's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Hmm. All right. Talking to people. It's very nice. Let's talk to uh, Kenny. Hey, Kenny. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? Need any help? No, I think I got it. All right there. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Um... I have, I have no, no idea, idea what but what doing. parent does? At least you're honest. Shit. Better than I was when Duck showed up. You'll figure it out. Exactly. What parent does know what they're doing when they first uh, get a child? You know what? I actually know someone who owns a shirt like that. Pretty much exactly like that. God, I'm feeling, uh... Man, that just lowered my opinion of that person. <laughs> he owns a shirt that was on a character that they're trying to pick as a red very redneck white person. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Uh, how's your, how's son, your doing? son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. Uh -oh. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. Wow. We're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Alright then. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Sounds Government will like start what? handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin... Whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Nice. See you. Alright. Sweet. We've got a plan. We've got a man. And... Yeah, I don't know what else would be wrong with that. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. Huh. I'm good. How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! <laughs> uh, giving boss and this guy around. It's funny. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Sure then, man. We'll do. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in we'll Atlanta kill a kid. Enough. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. Huh. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, Those are two completely the separate the things. Right between the kid's eyes and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. How could you fall, not you know think? the difference between Did asking help and attacking someone? To what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. No, I'm just glad we're close. getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. No, I just think inviting me in is a How's huge your threat. My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. They have a drugstore apparently. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. All right then. Glad I could help. And Sean, 
Thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Oh, what a anyway, nice guy you are. see my dad around. He might want some help in the barn. Alright. Will do. Let's go uh, help out the father. In the barn. Hello. How you doing? 